Again, California. They're making moves, bro. You got to know about this. California becomes the first state to make non-consensual condom removal illegal. In a groundbreaking decision, mm. California has become the first state in the nation to make it illegal to remove a condom during sexual intercourse without the consent of the partner. Now, this is from our peoples at the Huff Huff Pass Post. We haven't heard from you guys in a minute, so it's good to see you guys again. Non-consensual condom removal, known as stealthy, is now a civil offense as sexual battery under the state law allowing victims to sue offenders for damages. The bill was introduced by Democratic Assemblywoman Christina Garcia, who began working on the issue following a Yale University study in 2017 revealing rising incidences of stealthing against women and gay men. Non-consensual condom removal during sexual intercourse exposes victims to the physical risk of pregnancy and disease, and interviews make it clear is, exper is experienced by many as a grave violation of dignity and autonomy, as noted in the Yale study. It can be understood to transform consensual sex into non-consensual sex. Some online communities encourage stealthing and even share tips on how to dupe a sexual partner. The California state legislature passed the measure without opposition last month, and it was signed into law this past week by Governor Newsom. This is groundbreaking, gentlemen. This is really groundbreaking here. And uh, Cortez, you're ready, so go right. I at need it. to say something about this. So let me get this right, man. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a married man, yes, so you, you know, please, you know, please, please bear in mind. Mm -hmm. If I'm engaging, if I'm having sex with, with with my partner, and I'm using a condom, and let's just say that condom breaks, mm -hmm. what does what umbrella does that fall underneath? Because Good question. you know, I don't know. We don't know if it breaks once the condom breaks or whatever, and I pull out. Mm -hmm. I won't know until I pull out that maybe, you know, you'll feel the difference either way, but oh, yeah. damn, man, that, that is shit. You need to, I, what's going to happen? They're going to go after the condom companies, man. You think? <laughs> you think yeah, but, yeah. How, but then here's, a, here's another question. How do we know that, you know, that nobody poked a hole in the condom before you opened it up? You're right about that, man. Okay. I'll so be then. honest with y'all, man. Absin abstinence is a good thing. Abstinence is a good thing, folks. If mm -hmm. you if you want to be dealing with all that crazy shit, you know, I, you know, I'm not trying to say, you know, I'm not trying to push my 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 religious values on people, man. Amen. But, Amen. But, but cats, man, you know, when you start fucking, man, it, it, it takes a, you you on a whole different level, especially when you out here having sex with women, man. Well, yeah. Women are very emotional. They get very attached. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. But at the same you, time, it could be the other way around. Don't forget, men can get whooped too. Men can they get, get whooped. whooped too, man. It's the just the power, you go power, dog. The power can make a, a man go on his knees. Yeah, it's just when you go raw, it's side effects of going raw. Mm. <laughs> it's side effects of going raw, dog. Yes, <laughs> so read the fine print. The yeah, fine I mean, print it's, and, and if you're in <laughs> California, man, whew, I can imagine. I know California loves hot and loves the party. But yeah, your man, party is going to get cut short now. Uh, GPS, I mean, uh, w we need to know because you are the official pimp master uh, of, the, of the show here. So uh, if you're going to California and you're in a situation where it gets a little steamy with a partner, of course, of course, you're not eating a uh, fish taco while you're doing it. But what what are you going to do? Or maybe you are. Oh shit! Damn, I just walked right into it. You know what? The following commentary from Mr. GPS is not the official might commentary be. of the show. I understood fish he might taco. Be better off eating. He might be better off eating a fish taco. To be honest, if you don't want, at least they can't trace that shit. Back you know to what? Miss, again, this this GPS is master of subliminals. I give you that one because I caught that real quick. Maybe you didn't, but I did. I did too, man. That's Hashtag fish taco on there. I did. Yeah. That's the reason why I did. Yeah, shit. But, but ahead, GPS. GPS, please, please. <laughs> you know, you're you're in the state of California. You're, it's hot and heavy, and things happen. And you know, what what if we're in a situation? Let's say, you know, something happens, and there's a uh, a malfunction of the prophylactic. Well, the problem is you have to erase the malfunction. 
So you either have to agree to not do it, true, or you have to agree to do it wrong. Yeah. Because if it malfunctions <laughs> mm-hmm. in between strokes, mm-hmm. whether they be 30 strokes per minute, whether they be 300 strokes per minute, mm-hmm. and the very moment that it approaches 300, that it approaches 300, and you don't notice something's about to happen, you are now in violation as a man of this law. Mm-hmm. Mm. So. My advice would be this You're going to take a plan B right now mm. You're going to take a plan B After Indeed. Or We're going to be abstinent One of the two because or, Okay or, or Cortez yes when in, when in doubt double it out ah. Put two on Put two on mm. put a price to put okay. two on. Grab it up put double it up on. Holy yeah. water and a lucky rabbit's foot Yeah, Do, do what you got to do Alright I'm good with that yeah, you can't fuck up two. You can't have two fucked up condoms, man, back to back like that. Unless they just unless you getting your shit like the expiration date on those motherfuckers say two thousand one or something, man. It, it, it could be that, but yeah. at the same time, you know, and let's let's call a spade a spade. And I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna try to say this in the most uh, non disclaimer way possible. Don't. Call it what it is. <laughs> I can't do that. I, I you know, I've, I, I have to be we cordial. Can. I have to, I yeah, can, can, I can, but I have to be cordial. We as individuals here at the show, and of course, other men throughout the country, have probably have had incidents in the past where we might have just gotten the, the wrong size and it was just too small. And things can slip out. So, in that case, mm, what what happens? What happens then? And also, if you know it happens, but then you're feeling the clutches of nails coming at your cheeks, keeping you in. I see. No this, I see. <laughs> I see the smirk <laughs> on your face. I got. It. That's why I had to go to you first. What you happens? Have to let your part, you had to let your partner know. Like, look, honey, the, the condom them broke. I need to. I need to pull out. <laughs> Right. And that, and that could happen. They could state. say that. You leave it in, you're gonna have a kid. You leave it in, you're gonna have a kid. That's what you need to say. Do you do you want a little one? If you want a little one, that's what's gonna happen. Plan B. Plan B. They, they could be so. I, in, people have been in the, in the heat of the moment so much, both male and female, where they just don't stop. Even you know, I mean, we have sometimes don't stop. Females sometimes don't stop. It just depends on the individual. But the point is. What if that something like that happens? It just slips off. You you're trying to stop, but then they don't want to stop. Does that come back to haunt you later because of the law? Yeah. Please explain. No, it's consenting. Please, uh, it's, oh, no, 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 no. It's consenting, man. Is this consenting? It's it can be p- portrayed as consenting, you consent if, but it might if not be. If child either. is conceived, you're going to pay. Of course, but if she wraps her legs around you while you trying to pull out, man. She can't yell out rape, man. She can't yell out that you took advantage of her. You say, yo, you had your legs wrapped around my damn waist. I was trying to get out, but you did not want me to come out. These are the but things the that... Is- no, but these are the things that need to be talked about with this whole, uh, you know, with this whole uh, law that's in place. That's it, but, but the problem is when the story gets told, the mm-hmm. woman's never going to say, yeah, I waited till he fell asleep. I thought he was in a deep sleep. I got him hard. I jumped on top of him. When I finally woke up, he was already hard inside of me. He had no other option but to keep going. And no geez. woman has ever said that testimony in court. And I, look, thousand dollars, prove it to me. You better she do said it, that Dave. in court. Okay. You better do it, David Chappelle, man. Remember, David Chappelle had those consent. <gasps> yes, shit. yes, we talked about that before too. We talked about that before. Well, that's where we're at now because mm, that's what's happening, man. Get, it is well, everything up leading to the act is neither here nor there, and then everything after that. Okay, that's everything we take in the court. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. It's it's stealthing is really it's really an interesting situation. I mean, you know, as we mentioned. You know, this is, stealthing is now a civil def- uh, offense in California and listed as a sexual battery. So, you know, we don't know if the individual will change their mind afterwards. You could, 
you can say at the heat of the moment yes we were all there but then i realized afterwards that this is not what i wanted and i felt used i felt violated and that can happen you might have an individual that might say that after the fact will that hold in a court of law i'm not sure the way the law is looking here from first observations it might well the problem is in a lot of court of laws it has held or should i say in a lot of courts of law it has held mm -hmm. and a lot of these guys have gone to jail mm -hmm. or this lot these guys have lost their livelihoods jobs this that and third mm -hmm. so no because of women's ability to maneuver it right up until the very end as to what is consensual what is not versus a community ver uh, community version of what's consensual what's not you showed up at my house at 2 30 in the morning you said hey it took all your clothes off in my room and we proceeded to have sex but then you want to say it was non-consensual at the end of that no mm. it's not non-consensual you came to my house at 2 30 fucking night what else are we supposed to do Especially you didn't go to the with, kitchen. You, know what I'm you, went you right didn't go to the bedroom. laundry room and make any cook, you know, uh, wash any clothes. You didn't go to the uh, backyard and rake up any leaves. You came and stayed in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. What What are we supposed to do? Read scripture? The Bible downstairs in the living room. I don't think Come the on. Bible got to do Come anything down. with this. Uh, they just showed up. They just showed up at the door with nothing on underneath the jacket or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, mean is, it, is it coming to a point where in order to have some kind of defense, do we need to actually put cameras up while we're doing it? Yes. Yeah, we're going to have to, bro, because mm -hmm. your ass can be taken to court and your whole reputation is tarnished and destroyed overnight, man. Because once, once you've been classified as a rapist, a rapist, man, I don't care... What kind of court of law? It's you over. Go to? It's over. It's over. It's it's a stain. It's it is a mm -hmm. permanent stain. It's, it's like the scarlet you letter. Are, scarlet letter. I mean, if you are found not guilty, people still remember that shit, man. They still call it out like, yo, what that was a motherfucker that raped that girl. You know, people. Mm -hmm. don't. Yeah, that's exactly how they stay. Mm -hmm. He did yeah. this. Yeah. He did this, and it, it didn't probably it didn't even happen, or it probably got it. Probably was they were probably two consenting adults. But the girl got mad and she probably seen him with another girl or whatever, man. And she's mm. like, oh, this. And that's another thing, too. That's a, And it's a good point that you bring up, Cortez. Personal feelings for the individual, I guess, at the heat of the moment, compounded with, let's say, if they're not in a relationship and they see somebody, they see the person that they were with, with somebody else. Are they trying, going to be vengeful and vindictive and say something to destroy that person's life? When, when, you know, when it had, when everything was consensual, we, we don't know uh, the, every uh, thought of every individual, but we have seen that happen and document. It's just when you, when you have sex, you got to remember, man, sex is one thing, man, we, we, we keep forgetting, man, sex is an intimate act between two people. People get feelings, man. People get feelings mm -hmm. after they have sex, man. Yes, and, they do. That's why and they call it intercourse. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, you gotta, if you're gonna do this, you gotta be in the right state of mind because there's a possibility that you might get hurt. There's a possibility mm -hmm. you might get hurt, not physically, but mentally, because that person may not wanna see you no more. How do you rebound if that person rejects you? Sometimes that sex brings out, brings out mental issues that you may have have mm. had in the past that somewhat trickles out saying you know i thought after he had sex with me that we were going to be together forever and then i seen him with this girl oh no i'm gonna take his ass to court i'm gonna file rape charges and do what mm -hmm. i need to do to fuck his shit up and man. you know what it's it, it's interesting because a lot of these uh cases that you see uh that are happening uh, that have happened in the past you know you know they're, they're coming back and in a nutshell it's a very monumental law that was passed in california that is going to be a precedent for the rest of the country